you think I'll live? You look kind of uh, weak and puny, but I think you'll pull through. Thank you, sir. Great chap. I wish we had more like him at Annapolis. Yes, sir. Too bad this is his last year. You'll make a grand naval officer. <laughs> Polo Grounds in New York City. Witness this great game between the Army and Navy. Stands are packed, people are standing all over the place, and all eyes are on Fresh Morgan, captain of the Navy. Double wing back. Smith is back. With the ball pass from center, it goes to Smith. It's a reverse to Corrigan. Corrigan hits over his own right tackle. He hits the pullback. Knocks him down. He's away. Wait a minute. He's boxed in. Craig and Reynolds are coming in. He hits Craig. He knocks him over. Straight out Reynolds, and he's across for a touchdown. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Crash Murray and kept the Navy team playing the finest game of his career. Wait a minute, son. What do you want? I gotta see Lieutenant Corrigan right away. You can't go in there. It's against orders. But I tell you, I gotta see him. It's important. Even if I let you in, you couldn't talk to the lieutenant now. He's busy. All right. What were you doing up there? Dad sent me over to get you, but they wouldn't let me in. Has he had another earthquake warning? Yeah, he wants you to come right over. Well, wait until I get into my clothes. I'm going over to Professor Norton's laboratory. Very well, Crash. What you say is very interesting, Professor Norton, but I still can't believe that this little machine can predict earthquakes. Not only predicts, but prevents them. If I could get close enough to the source. Oh, there you are, Lieutenant. The signals are coming in much stronger. Oh, I beg your pardon. And this is Miss Compton, staff writer of the time. Oh, everybody knows Crash Corrigan. That was the signal again. 
They've been sending it every five minutes. They? Just whom do you mean by they? Professor Norton maintains that these signals must be the work of some human agency, apparently coming from the bottom of the ocean. I hope you're not going to spring that fantastic yarn about the lost continent of Atlantis. Exactly. Only now I have some definite evidence. This is pure auric talcum, a metal made by fusing gold and copper. The secret of this process was lost with the Atlanteans. What does that prove? Well, according to every test, the idol couldn't be more than a couple of years old, something made recently. I found it during a recent trip I made in my rocket submarine in, uh, in this general location. And this is where the ancient continent of Atlantis was reported to have sunk thousands of years ago. Contrary to popular belief, Atlantis did not sink overnight, but during a period of years. During this time, the people had ample opportunity to construct a roof of auricalcum over the city and keep out the ocean waves. Thus, Atlantis, though lost, still lives. <laughs> But your holiness, Unger Khan's men are at the gates. I beg of you to take safety in the citadel. Poseidon, god of Atlantis, has never forsaken his people in time of need. I promise you he will not do so now. There will be no peace in Atlantis until we have broken the power of this evil usurper, Unger Khan. Hopeless exalted one. Our men are outnumbered. The city is about to fall. Have faith. I am pleased to report that Sheriff's army has been driven within the walls of the sacred city. Good. Recall the troops. With those religious fanatics under control, I'll have no more interference with my plans to destroy the upper world. The fool. When you do succeed in sending them to the bottom of the sea, Atlantis will rise once more to its former place in the sun and you will be ruler of all things. Start the disintegrator. Sinclairs in ruins, thousands dead, hospitals burning, all communication cut off. Red Cross is appealing for doctors. Special trains are rushing supplies to the stricken area. Governor of the state declared martial law, rushing a militia to the scenes of the disaster. Stand by for further announcements. St. Clair? That's only 300 miles from here. Yes, and according to my calculations, another severe shock will occur any moment. Joe, put that counteracting machine aboard the submarine right away. Do you mean you're going down and try to stop this quake? What a story this will make for my paper. Let me get to a phone. 
Can I come along, Dad? Some other time, Billy. I have something more important for you, Billy. I want you to take a note to the naval base for me. Hurry up, Joe. We've got no time to lose. Well, Professor, I, I don't think it's safe to take the submarine down that far. We've got to take that chance. Get those things aboard. Now, quick, give this note to the commanding officer at the naval base. He'll understand. Come on, Joe. I'll give you a hand. This is not an ordinary submarine, Bill. It's propelled by rocket motors, designed by Professor Norton himself. Yes, it's been tested at 2,500 feet, and he's going to try to reach the bottom this time. I'll tell you more about it when I get back. What? Am I going along? You bet I am. Hello. This is Professor Norton's boathouse. Brandy Deep. Hello. 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 Will you shut up? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean you, Professor Norton. I was talking to Sinbad. Huh? Oh, yeah. R right away. Professor Norton says to get the boat ready for a long trip. For two cents, I'd leave you behind on this trip, you old buzzard. Get on it. Hurry up. Just the same, the submarine wasn't built to go to the bottom. It'll crack up like an egg when it gets below 2,500 feet. Oh, nonsense, Joe. Professor Norton knows what he's doing. Go back and help the professor. I'll cast off. Hold everything. Oh, we're just leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, nothing. I'm going, too. We're nearing the spot where the earthquake shocks originate. Prepare to submerge.
200 feet. Good. Another 2,000 feet and I can start the counteracting ray. We'll never make it. The submarine will be crushed. You can't hold it yourself, Joe. There's no danger. Why, of course not. Well, you're all mad. If we go any deeper, the submarine will crush like the shell of an egg. Get back there and keep my nose down. We're going through with it. All right. You ask for it. I'll nose her down. I'll send her straight to the bottom. I'll send her to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I hated to do this, but it was the only way I could stop him. He'll be all right in a little while. We're down 7,000 feet. And we're still diving. Do you think it's safe to continue? It's the earthquake detector. I'll stop the counteracting ray while you level the ship off. We're down far enough. Disintegrator. Must be outside interference, Your Majesty. We'll soon find out. So that's what's interfering with my plans. The deep sea craft from the upper world, Your Majesty. Shall I destroy it? Wait. I have a better plan. 
Turn on the magnetic ray and bring them down into Atlantis. Professor Norton. What happened? I don't know. We're on a level keel, but we're being dragged down by some mysterious force. Younger Khan, a detachment of the Imperial Guard will proceed at once to the inland sea and capture the stranger from the upper world. Captain Hacker. Yes, Chef. On horse, quickly. Number one patrol, huh? Number one patrol, prepare to move out. Number two. submarine while we investigate this place. We'd better hide the control box. Now, there's a good place. Yes, that'll do. Do you think we'd better wait for Briny and Sawley? Oh, it's unnecessary. They'll join us as soon as we catch Sinbad the parrot. <laughs> My calculations are wrong. We've come across the lost continent of Atlantis. Why, I can hardly believe it. It must be a mirage, some illusion. Listen. Why, that's no illusion. Those are hope beats. Out of sight. We'll find out if they're friends or enemies. Hey! 
The submarine. But the soldiers, what about them? I'll tell you later. There's no time to lose. Hurry, Diana. What's that? Some sort of a war tank. and they're heading for the beach. The blast and the invisible ray gun will soon stop them. men can't follow us through those flames. Are you sure this is the lost continent of Atlantis? There's no doubt about it. What a story this will make for my paper. Girl reporter discovers civilization 10,000 feet below the ocean. Boy, I'd like to explore that city. So would I. Perhaps we'd better get back to the submarine before we run into any more of these strange people. Look closely, Mortis. Have you ever seen such people before? No. 
But I'll bet you they're in league with Unger Khan. returning with strange prisoners. Darius approaches the city with strange captives. Strange captives? Who are they? We believe them to be agents of Unger Khan. Oh. There will be no peace in Atlantis until we have broken the power of this evil usurper, Unger Khan. Before we could return and capture the strangers, the Volkites appeared and destroyed them with their atom guns. I wanted them alive. They are alive. Sheriff's men have captured them, Your Majesty, and are heading for the secret city. Take a strong force and recapture the prisoners at any cost.
submarine and wait there. I'm going to follow that juggernaut and see where they're taking him. Can I come along? Better not. It's too dangerous. Our guest bound. He is no prisoner. Release him. At once. Now I, Anga Khan, may more fittingly welcome you to my undersea kingdom of Atlantis. Your soldiers have already welcomed us. They've killed my assistant, have made off my son and Lieutenant Corrigan. The soldiers who attacked you were not my men. They were followers of Sharon. This Lieutenant Corrigan you mentioned and your son have undoubtedly been made prisoners of that tyrant. They must be rescued immediately. Order out the Imperial Guard. Thank you. It is I who should thank you. Never before has Atlantis been honored by a visitor from the upper world. However, I'm curious to know how you were able to penetrate the depths of the ocean. We use a super submarine propelled by rocket motors, which I perfected especially for the purpose. Quite interesting, Professor. Do you think these rocket motors could be built powerful enough to lift this tower? There's no limit to their size or power. Given time and the necessary equipment, I can construct rocket motors that would raise this tower clear to the upper world. Good. You shall start at once. Are you actually proposing to move this huge metal tower? Why? Because it contains all the machinery which has enabled me to harness the atom. 
the most destructive force known to science. Once I reach the surface, I'll either become supreme ruler of the upper world or destroy it. Professor Norton would never agree to help you in such a fiendish plan. He's insane if he thinks I will. We have ways of persuading people to do our bidding. will come to him. This machine will merely transform his mind so that he will obey me. Prepare the transformer. Transformation! Clear in a moment, Your Majesty. Never mind. Even if he escaped the atom gun, his fall down the shaft will have killed him. Sheridan men, but they reached the sacred city before we could get to them. You know that's funny, Captain. 
You didn't find any trace of those other two strangers from the upper world? Well, the boy was recaptured by Sherrod's men and the lieutenant disappeared. Answer that. Imperial Stables. The body of Crash Corrigan lies at the base of the elevator shaft. Remove it at once. Yes, sir. on his way to share it for help. But it won't do him any good. As soon as you complete building suitable rocket motors, I'll take this tower with all of its scientific equipment to the upper world, where I'll either conquer or destroy it. You're mad to think I'd help you to destroy my own people? Perhaps you will change your mind. Prepare the transforming ray. See the Holy Sherrod, High Priest of Atlantis. The man lies. He's an escaped prisoner who slew one of our charioteers. Seize him. He killed him. He's a black robe. I tell you, I gotta see Sherrod. Throw him in the dungeon. An insult to Poseidon. I insist on seeing the high priest. Lock him in the dungeon. Why did your father come to the undersea kingdom of Atlantis? He didn't intend to. We were in our submarine when something went wrong. And the first thing we knew, we were here. We have captured the stranger from the upper world. That's Crash Corrigan, the man I've been telling you about. What have you done with him? I ordered him thrown into the dungeon with the other prisoners. He didn't do anything. He slew one of our charioteers. You know, the law is clear. Only life can pay for life. Lieutenant Corrigan shall be pitted against the captive black robes in mortal combat. If it's a fair fight, I know Crash will win. Does he shall be granted his freedom. Uh, get the prisoners ready and summon the people. There's no need for alarm. The transforming ray will not harm him, but merely bend his will to mine. 
When the professor has finished building the rocket motors that will carry this tower to the upper world, his mind will be restored. The transformer is in readiness, Your Majesty. Proceed with the transformation. Are you ready to build the rocket motors? Yes, Master. Your word is law, Master. <laughs> Take him to the laboratory. <laughs> position to help anybody. Perhaps you'd like to see. Watch closely.
gates are still open. We'll make our escape in this chariot. We'll wait our chance.
for his Imperial Majesty, Unger Khan. His Majesty had just started down to the rocket laboratory. You can contact him there. There. The model is completed. If it works, I can begin building rocket motors on a larger scale. Professor North, you don't realize what you are doing. If Unger Khan succeeds in taking this tower to the upper world with all its equipment, he will destroy civilization. That's exactly what I intend to do. I hope you're enjoying your visit with your old friend. You know he doesn't recognize me. You've destroyed his mind, made a different person of him. His mind is not destroyed. I have merely transformed it to my will. When the rocket motors are completed, enabling me to carry out my plan, I may restore him to his former state. And until then, I will not allow you or anybody else to interfere. What is it? Your Majesty, I regret to report that our attempt to capture Sherrod failed because of interference by that lieutenant from the upper world. And what about Morlock? Did he fail? Worse than that, he's turned traitor and joined forces with Sherrod. An Imperial Guardsman in the enemy camp? We must act quickly before he betrays our secrets. Attack the city at once, send war chariots, cavalry, and full siege equipment. Atlantis, I thank you. Your mighty deeds of today have entirely erased all resentment. If you had not rescued me from the soldiers of Unger Khan, my people were prepared to surrender the city in a vain effort to preserve my life. In recognition of your courage, self-sacrifice, and evident loyalty to our sacred city, I offer you command of the Atlantean army. Commander of the army? Oh boy, oh boy. I don't pretend to deserve the honor. But since it's a challenge to my loyalty, I accept. Good. Wisely said. Give him the insignia of high command. May this sword serve you as faithfully as I know you will serve us. Hail the commander! A request, exalted one. Speak? I plead for mercy for the black robed prisoner, Moloch. You spared him in the arena? Therefore, his life belongs to you. What a fool you are, Moloch. You had a chance to escape. You threw it away to help that stranger. That's the least I could do. Crash Cargan defied all of Atlantis by refusing to slay me in the arena. What did it get you? Oh, 
On petition of Crash Corrigan, commander of the Sacred Army, and by order of His Holiness, Sharad, High Priest of Atlantis, you, Moloch, are herewith given your freedom. There's your answer. such an explosion might wreck the roof of Atlantis and bring the ocean in on us?
leader of Kunga Khan's army. My lord. The enemy started to retreat. Think he was captured? I'll question the man. they get to Unger Khan's tower. We're going with them. It's our one chance to rescue Diana and Billy's father. Hacker now, Your Majesty. What do you mean by ordering a retreat? I told you to dispose of that traitor Moloch and that stranger from the upper world, Lieutenant Claudian. I have, Your Majesty. They fell from the wall and were quickly taken care of. Quick, let's get the hacker's room. Stay under cover.
with Christ Cardigan out of the way, nothing can interfere with my plans to conquer the upper world. Provided Professor Norton is able to build rocket motors that will actually take this tower to the surface of the ocean. I hold you responsible for his success. I'll see how he's progressing. Khan's transforming machine has changed him into another person. What for? He's forcing your father to build rocket motors. Take this tower to the surface of the ocean. We've got to stop him! The fools! This is not what I asked for. not to interfere with Professor Norton's work. Professor Norton would never consent to this. He knew what he was doing. He's not in his right mind. You'll think differently when you come out of the transforming machine. Unger Khan has no patience with those who defy him. Will you come with me or shall I summon the guards? That was Christ Corrigan. He was heading for Hacker's room. I'll notify His Majesty at once. No! 
Now you guard the door to Hacker's room and see that he don't escape. We just question Mr. Corrigan and find out what he has to say. And you say they're going to put Diane in the transforming machine the same as they did your father? Yes, sir. Come on, Warlock. We'll pay Con a little visit to the throne room. Hackers, men. They must be wise to us. to the throne room. Stay here, Billy. Austin reports that the young stranger from the upper world helped you wreck the machinery in the rocket laboratory. Where is he hiding? The man's out of his mind. He doesn't know what he's saying. Oh, yes, I do. It was little Billy. You miserable creature. Betraying your own son. <laughs> I thought so. For the last time, will you tell me where he's hiding? You're wasting your breath. I'll never tell you anything. Your friend Norton once said the same thing, but the transforming machine changed his mind. I won't tell. Put her in the transforming machine, guard. I'll be with you as soon as I hide these two men. Prepare the transformer. come to the girl, merely transform her mind so that she will no longer interfere with my plans.
let the girl out. Hey. 
better hurry. Be quiet. I've got an idea. Get to work. Let him sit him down. I'll do it. Well, you better not sit there. Silence. Go to work. escape before we could reach the sacred city. But we left the juggernaut there in case of attack. I'll report that to His Majesty. I'll take care of the black robe. Come on, Dad. No. We must go. No, no, no. I must complete my master's work. I must complete my master's work. for Sharon, High Priest of Atlantis. The peace and safety of all true Atlanteans is threatened by your evil master, Anga Khan. We have been too lenient with these prisoners, Your Holiness. If we are ever to break the tyrant's power, we must show their spies no mercy. No martyrs. These men are but the tools of a madman and know not what they do. Take him to the dungeon. Speak, Ulan. The stranger from the upper world is a friend of Crash Corrigan. You bring news of our commander? We left him in the Khan throne room with Billy and Professor Norton. Professor Norton? Yes, Billy's father. Khan is forcing him to build rocket motors will take his power to the upper world. He is insane enough to believe he can conquer all civilization. We must act at once. Dragon orders at the gate. They must have followed us to the city. No human force can combat the atom guns. But our commander. Oh, it's hopeless. The 
right back, Billy. I'll blast the hinges off. the influence of the transforming machine. Here's the wire that leaks. It's risky. It's our only chance. A long way to go, hand over hand. We're not going hand over hand. We're going to walk it. I can't walk a wire. Well, I can. Come on. We can make it all right. Climb on. Whatever you do, don't look down. Okay, Crash. Look, they're getting away. Send out a rescue party. The juggernaut is at our gates. But Crash and the others are at the mercy of that madman, Unger Khan. I think I know a way of tricking them. Unger Khan's orders are that no white rope shall enter or leave the city. Look, the gates are opening. Pursuit chariot! Bring him back! 
They must be captured. It's all right. able to rescue Professor Lawton from the tower. He could have. Dad didn't want to be rescued. Uncle Khan has transformed his mind and is forcing him to build rocket motors. What does Uncle Khan propose to do with rocket motors down here in Atlantis? He plans to raise his metal tower to the upper world to conquer or destroy our civilization. Impossible. You can't start rocket motors without priming powder. And there isn't any here in Atlantis. Well, maybe he's going to get some from the submarine. We'll soon put a stop to that. Come on, Billy. These are the exhaust tube masters. When the rocket motors are started, the tremendous heat will melt the tower from its base and start it upward. How long will I have to wait before you start the full size mortis? They're practically ready now, Master. I have but one more test to make. Your Imperial Majesty, the Crash Corrigan is headed for the Inland Sea to get the priming powder for Professor Norton's submarine. Priming powder? Yes, Master. I'll need it to start the rocket motor. Why haven't you brought it here before this? It's safe on the submarine. Nothing is safe with Crash Corrigan around. Order Captain Hacker to get that priming powder at all costs. Imperial Stables. Captain Hacker will proceed to the Inland Sea. 
sea and bring back the priming powder from Professor Norton's submarine. Crash Corrigan is headed there for the same purpose and must be stopped. Patrol number one, prepare to move out. That to a longer con where he hit that control box. It's here, all right. Gee, I hope it still works. Chariot, Billy. I'll go down to the submarine and get the priming powder. like dynamite. Soldier! Hunger cunt! Duck deeper in those trees and keep them aside. I'll get the rest of the powder. Potter ashore. We'll surprise him. Spread out.
priming powder. That's the end of Crash Corrigan. Get to your horse. You'd never come up. I ducked just in time. Certainly hate to lose that priming powder. But at least Uncle Khan didn't get it. Don't forget, we still have those two cans of powder you put in the chariot. That's right, Billy. Let's get out of here before some of those black ropes spot us. Without priming powder, Unga Khan won't be able to take his power to the upper world. Yeah, but he still has my dad a prisoner, and he might force him to make some more. You hurry back to the city. I'll get in that tower somehow and destroy the rocket motors. You want me to get some of Sherrod's men to help you? No, they'd only be in the way. Be careful of the powder. We need it for the submarine. Toy has the priming powder and is on his way to the sacred city. We can quickly stop him with a flying torpedo, Your Imperial Majesty. What? And destroy the priming powder that I need for my rocket motors? Send out the ball plane. Khan's sky chariots. The priming powder. Uncle Khan can't take his tower to the upper world to carry out his diabolical plan. As long as that monster lives, my undersea kingdom of Atlantis can have no peace. You won't have to worry after Crash gets through with him. Where is Crash? He's on his way to the tower to surprise Khan.
You men stand guard here. I'll double back and head him off at the other end. Hello, do the people of the upper world realize what is in store for them? Start the disintegrator. Yes, Your Majesty. Yeah. This is only a sample of what will happen when I take this tower with all of its equipment to the upper world. Your Imperial Majesty. Well, what is it? I regret to announce the young stranger escaped with a priming power. He reached the sacred city before the Valkyries could stop him. Is my plan of empire to be wrecked by this handful of strangers from the upper world? Astro, I can make all the priming powders you need. What? Why haven't you done so before? Get to the laboratory at once and start work. Take him below. Not yet, sir. for the tower through the underground culvert. We have Corrigan trapped in the culvert. This is the only way out. Remember me? I'm your friend, Crash Corgan. We came down the submarine together. I've no time to talk. I must complete my master's work. Where are those rocket motors you're building? Rocket motors? <laughs> They're all finished. I I'm making the priming powder to stop them. Is this the equipment? Yes. The rocket laboratory. He must be in there. Uh. 
got to get out of here. Yeah, we have, ain't we? <laughs> What's the matter? I got an idea. You see this pitchfork candle? I tell you what you do. You come around here where I'm at, behind this partition, see? And I'll come around there, and I'll call the guard. And when I say presto, changeo, you suck it. See? Come on. Oh, Mr. Guard! Ah! Ah! Oh, Mr. Guard! I want to do some magic for you. You ever see any magic? Magic? What's yeah. that? Did you ever see no magic? Well, look at here. Come on over here now. You stand right there, see? Stand right there. Now, you watch. I'm going to take a rabbit right out of this hat. See, now, I ain't got nothing up my sleeves, either. Now, watch closely. Okay! I didn't see anything. No, you ain't doing the trick right. I can't take a rabbit out of this hat long as you stand over here. Now, you got to stand over here. I found Tango. It's no use. My friends will never give up that priming powder. Perhaps they will if you ask them to. You're wasting your breath. Maybe you'll change your mind when you reach the city. chance. Tell your friends to hand over that priming powder or I'm gonna ram through those gates. Go ahead and ram. Ram the gate! Powder from Sheriff and warn him that if you're not back in five minutes, I'll blast everybody in this court. Get back there!
Another moment, and he would have had this rocket motor. This is one Dunker Khan outsmarted himself. We have Captain Hacker and the Juggernaut. Oh, but what's the use? He will never rest until he has destroyed my undersea kingdom of Atlantis. But as long as we have this powder, he can't take his tower to the upper world. He still has Professor Norton in the tower. That's right. Billy's father is transformed and will do anything Khan wants him to. He may even force him to make a new supply of priming powder for the rocket motors. I'll have Norton out of that tower before Unger Khan knows what's happened. Take care of this prisoner. I'm going to have a little talk with Hacker. Professor Norton, how long before we can start raising the tower to the upper world? Master, the rocket motors are completed. All I need is the priming powder to stop them. You shall have it the minute Captain Hacker returns. Here comes the juggernaut now. As soon as Captain Hacker delivers the priming powder, start charging the motors. Take him below. command you deliver the priming powder to Professor Norton. Very well. the armory at once and check over the siege equipment. Very well, sir. This way, men. Oh! I'll get your father and be back in a minute. Take him over and back of those stalls and keep him covered. This is not priming powder. This is ordinary sand. Sand? Sand, all right. We've been tricked. I'll see Hacker about this at once. Remember me? We came down to Atlantis in your submarine. Your son Billy is waiting to help you escape. Go away. Leave me alone. I must carry out my master's work. Khan certainly did a good job of transforming you. 
I can see that there's only one way to get you out of here, and that is by force. And that is exactly what I intend to do. Professor Norton, he's headed for the juggernaut. Honor the guards to stop him. Lock the juggernaut with your control disc and cut off their escape from the Imperial stables. Yes, Your Majesty. by remote control. They're blocking our way. They must be wise to us. The elevator. Our only way. Keep Hagger covered with that atom gun until we get out of here. This level is clear. Full kites. looking airships that chase me. There's a black robe coming to the elevator. Did he see you? No. We'll take care of him. Wall. 
Stop. Why didn't the guards stop them? They were too late. This is the last time that Corrigan will interfere with my plans. Start the projector. Get out of the way. Nothing can now interfere with my plans to take this tower to the surface of the ocean and conquer the world. Your Imperial Majesty, the strangers have escaped with Professor Norton. And Norton was killed with the others? Why should that concern us? His work is done. The rocket motors are completed. You fool. My whole plan of empire is wrecked. Rocket motors are useless without Norton to start them. Turn on the reflecto that I may see exactly what happened. Gee, you died just in time. Oh, I hope your dad isn't hurt. Are you all right, Dad? I. I must go back and complete my master's work. But, Professor Norton, you don't realize that Uncle Khan has transformed your mind. Dad, come with us. We'll take you to our friends in the sacred city. I must go back to the tower. Oh, come on. <coughs> Professor Norton is on his way to the sacred city. He must be brought to me at once. Imperial Majesty, you are directed to overtake Professor Norton. He is on his way to the sacred city. Your mission is to return him to the tower. Turn out the pursuit chariots!
it, Billy. away from us. Only one chariot has returned, Your Majesty. That must be the report now. Your Majesty, the enemy is holding Professor Norton within the walled city. Advance upon the city at once. Lay siege and bring him to me. Yes, Your Majesty. Lieutenant Dog! Prepare the war chariot. Move out with the cavalry. Start the juggernaut. Advance with full siege equipment. Troopers, now! Professor Norton, that Uncle Khan wants you to help him take his tower to the upper world and destroy civilization? I... I don't understand. All I know is I must return to my master. Dad, you've got to listen to Crash. He's our friend. Who are you? And who are all these other people? The spell cast by Uncle Khan's transforming machine will not last forever. With proper care and attention, your father will regain his normal mind. But your holiness... Fear not, my child. You are safe within the walls of Atlantis. Uncle Khan's army is about to lay siege to the city. My son, on your shoulders lies the safety of Atlantis.
ready, sir. Good. We'll strike for nightfall. Yes. chance of anyone remaining alive after that. Order your men back to the tower. To the tower. Where's Diana? She was in there with Sheriff before the walls came in. 
Are you all right, Billy? Yes, I'm all right. Let's find Diane. Looking, Billy. Okay. Oh, now I remember. One of the pillars started to fall. Crash! Crash, I think he's dead. Nothing we can do for him now. Cargan! The entire city is in ruins. Khan's men all the way back to the tower. With Professor Norton again in Khan's power, we may never get back to the upper world alive. Don't forget, we still have the submarine. We better get down there right away in case we have to make a quick getaway. But what are we going to do about Benny's father? We'll take care of him right away as soon as the submarine is set to go. Your Imperial Majesty, the sacred city is wiped out. What of Sherrod and the strangers from the upper world? They all lie buried beneath the wreckage. Bring Professor Norton here to me. Nothing can stop me now from taking this tower and its equipment to the upper world. You don't think Professor Norton will fail you at the last minute? Not a chance. His mind is still transformed. He'll do anything I command him to. What is it? His Imperial Majesty Unger Khan wants to see you in the throne room. I'll go at once. Look at them, running around like so many ants. Their numbers must be unlimited. There seems to be no end of them. So much the better, for I intend to make them all my slaves or destroy them. You sent for me, Master. Are all the rocket motors attached to the base of the tower? Yes, Master. How long will it take us to reach the upper world? If we can strike the Gulf Stream, we should be within reaching distance of the coast within two hours. You mean you have no accurate calculations as to where we will emerge? Only my charts and compass can give me that information, Master. Charts, compass? I have them in my submarine, hidden in the inland sea. Captain Hacker, take some boat guides and escort Professor Norton to the inland sea at once. We have no time to wait. I'll only be a moment.
It's Corrigan. They're headed this way. No doubt they're going to try and get back to the upper world in this submarine. We'll submerge the ship and take the control box back to the tower with us. <laughs> They'll never get out of Atlantis alive. <laughs> I have a better plan. They'll never expect to find any Volkites in the submarine. <laughs> while I raise the submarine. I'll go with you, Crash. Someone's been here. Who do you think it was? I don't know. We better take a look in the submarine. I'll slip in through the safety port and take a peek around, just in case. You stall around here and make a noise as if you're coming aboard. So did I for a minute, Billy. Come on down. They're just machinery, aren't they? You and Diana stay with the submarine. Moloch and I are going back to the tower and rescue your father. If the tower rises here, you'll be in a commanding position to start your conquest of the upper world. Are your rocket motors ready? Yes, Master. They're primed for the final test. Start the test. Wait! Don't kill those men. That flame will melt the toughest steel. Clear the base of the tower for a test of the rocket motors. Motors. They'll burn you to a cinder. Start the motor, but be ready to cut it off before it goes full blast. Enough. I'm satisfied my plans are complete. Assemble all the men on the bolt kite. We leave for the upper world immediately.
They're all checked, Your Majesty, except the pair we sent to the Inland Sea. Send those two Volkites in with the others. He's out of control! What? It's crash calling him. Signal the other ball kites to attack them. Now, Unger Khan, we're going to bring Professor Norton back to his normal senses. My supreme Art Khan will do as you direct. Trust them too far. I'm not trusting them at all. Not so fast, Dittmar. Get in there. You'll have nothing to fear as long as Dittmar does what he is told. Come here and work these controls. Better not make any mistakes. Keep an eye on Dittmar. I can hardly blame you for not recognizing me in this outfit. Lieutenant Corrigan. That's right. What are you doing here? Where's my son and Diana? They're safe in the submarine. Bring Dittmar over here. to the base of the tower and destroy those rocket motors. Go to your quarters. The tower is ready to take off. Rocket motors before crash gets down there and destroys them. Your Imperial Majesty, they've broken the control disc. Get to the master control and start the rocket motors by hand. But the strangers from the upper world, Your Imperial Majesty, aren't you going to make any effort to stop them? They won't get far once the rocket motors are started. The flames from the exhaust will take care of them. The motors are located around that bend. It's too late! 
I'm all right. The tower is shaking loose from its foundation. It'll take off any minute and crash through the roof of Atlantis. In that case, all Atlantis will be flooded. We must get to the submarine, Warren, Diane, and Billy. They'll be safe. Our job is to get up into the tower and prevent Unger Khan from destroying our civilization. I shall make myself supreme ruler of the upper world or destroy it. Get the disintegrator ready. Power is moving. We'll locate the disintegrator and put it out of commission. Have you given the men their final instructions for the conquest of the upper world? The orders have been carried out, Your Majesty. If I could get to the reflector plate, I might be able to send a message to the naval base and warn them. The guards await your inspection in the guard room. It is now. Good. Get me the wireless room. He's caught a signal. It's Lieutenant Corgan speaking. I'm with Professor Norton. We're trapped in a metal tower which is being brought to the surface of the ocean by a madman. He intends to conquer the world or destroy it. What kind of strange craft is that? 
<laughs> Our first victim. Start the projector. the beginning. The upper world is powerless against this tower. Prepare the disintegrator. What are you going to do? Bring it there and stop. Look at their city crumble while they run back and forth like rats on a sinking ship. Location is latitude 63 degrees, longitude 49 degrees, and we're moving in on the North American continent. This power is equipped with machinery capable of destroying our entire civilization. I recommend you dispatch the battle fleet immediately against the tower while I try and stop him from using his disintegrator. Oh! I don't want him killed yet. Cut off again, sir. Keep trying. Get me the Navy Department. engines of war to destroy this tower. So much the better. The sooner they get here, the quicker I will destroy them. Your Majesty, look, they're approaching. Their guns can never reach us. Project the invisible wall of atom rays around the tower. Then I'll give them a taste of real power. Explode them before they reach the tower. But keep firing. Very well, sir. Enough. Turn the 
a disintegrating ray against them. trying to make that Volkite come to life, Professor. Yes, and I won't stop until I succeed. Once I discover the secret of Anger Khan's control, all mankind will be relieved of the drudgery of physical labor. Well, that's all very fine, Professor, but right now you're coming with us. Where to? We'll need you as a witness at the Marriage License Bureau. Splendid. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? Wait till I get my thing. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> 